Urban Bar. I didn't know whether I was going to be shot in the head and the back when I was leaving. Patrons flee for their safety after they say a firefighter in full dress uniform stormed in with a gun. Good evening. Those who saw the ugly incident inside the Ugly Duckling Bar say the firefighter was hot under the collar when he came in looking for his wife. But he apparently found someone else. Let's get right to Roger Weber live in Harper Woods where the firefighter is being held by police, Roger. Devin, it's mighty strange for cops wearing the Harper Woods uniform to arrest somebody else in uniform. This 44-year-old firefighter faces a charge of felonious assault, also a weapons charge. And police say the victim in this case is not the woman he was targeting. You know, it's something like you see in the, in the movies. But this witness saw it for real inside the Ugly Duckling Bar. Police have arrested a Sterling Heights firefighter named Joel Abernathy. They say he argued with his wife in the bar, left the place, put on his uniform, and returned about 40 minutes later. A gentleman, a regular, came walking in with it seemed like a large 45 caliber um, semi-auto handgun. Police believe he was going to confront his wife, who was near the entrance playing pool. But he walked right by her, thinking his wife was sitting at the bar playing a video game. It was another woman, an off-duty waitress. Her back was to him as he raised the gun. Uh, put the gun up to the back of her head and demanded his keys. Uh, she was like, I don't have your keys. Police say the gunman soon found his wife, took her purse, and drove off. Based on a credit card receipt and customers who knew him, the cops headed to Abernathy's house in St. Clair Shores. And then they located him walking down the street. He was arrested at that time. A uh, gun wasn't recovered at that time, but he had a bullet on, in his possession. Abernathy drives a fire truck for Sterling Heights, where he's worked for the last 12 years. He's been placed on administrative leave. Abernathy allegedly jabbed the woman with the barrel of the gun, but she wasn't injured. Unfortunately, this could happen anywhere to anybody, you know. But uh, it's not going to keep me from coming here. Abernathy was given a $10,000, 10% bond, but he is still in custody. Police have him, but they don't have the gun, which they believe he threw into a trash can. Back to you. So, Roger, any idea, the police or any of the people in the bar even have an idea of why Abernathy took the trouble to put on the firefighter's uniform before going back? Well, we talked to the police chief about this. Uh, this was his, his dress uniform with, with uh, patches on it. And... Uh, the chief's theory is that this guy knew the trouble was coming, and if he was going to be arrested, he figured he might as well be arrested wearing his uniform. Gotcha. All right. Roger Weber reporting live.